In this video, I'm going to give you a little demonstration of the lab for the light controller state machine. Basically, this is going to demonstrate what happens with the completed UI, as well as gives you a little bit of an overview of what you're actually going to be doing in lab. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by running the implementation that I have of the project that is complete. This will start up an absolutely very advanced, wonderful looking GUI, shown right here. Now this GUI is designed to indicate or to mimic the behavior of a security light controller. So for example, I can manually turn the light on and the light goes on to full brightness. Or I can turn the light off. If it's dark at night and motion is detected, the light will turn on. And then after a period of time, it will automatically turn off. If it is dark and we turn the light on, the light goes on to half brightness. Now if while the light is turned on, because we manually turned it on, the sun comes up and it is no longer dark outside, the light comes on to full brightness. And of course we can turn the light off. Now if it's dark and the alarm is tripped, the light will start blinking and blinking and blinking and blinking because there is an intrusion detected until we cancel the alarm. So that is essentially a swing UI version of what you're going to be doing. This whole system is controlled using a state machine. So the state machine that we have is what I'm dragging across to the screen right now. We can see that our initial state is the lamp off daylight. If we receive a manual switch on event, we go on the lamp on full, manual switch off, back into daylight. So these are the events that occur. Now you'll notice that this is designed without any guard conditions associated with it. It's a simple system in that regards. But we do have entry conditions and we do have an exit condition. So for example, if an intrusion is detected and we clear the alarm, we will go to the lamp off state. If motion is detected and the lamp timer expires, we go to the lamp off state. As we enter or exit a given state, we will do these actions that are listed there. So this is essentially the state machine that represents the behavior that you will be testing. The class structure that we have for this, basically you're going to be testing this state machine that is in the middle here. Now you'll notice there's not a whole lot of private method or public methods to it. Most everything is private in this example because we want to test essentially the behavior of this state machine relative to a set of interfaces. So we have a command interface that signals, subscribes, unsubscribes, which essentially sets up those particular interfaces there. We have a constructor that will test for this particular class and then set light and timer which are things related to setting the references to the classes that are going to realize this timer interface that we have over here as well as realize this security light controller interface. This will be the class that you'll be testing. In addition to testing this, one of the lab partners will be taking this class and re-implementing it differently so that it is not done in the same fashion using the tests that are created by the tester to test their implementation. So there'll be a couple different phases of testing. The first phase will involve taking essentially this signal action method, constructing a control flow graph, and defining at least the cyclomatic complexity of that method, and defining exactly MCC, where MCC is McCabe Cyclomatic Complexity, test cases to run through the code. You'll use those test cases to determine the code coverage that you get out of just testing this with McCabe Cyclomatic Complexity. When that is done, you're going to then create another set of test cases that fully exercise this particular class based upon the state machine here, as well as based upon the observers, being able to subscribe and unsubscribe, those types of functions. What you want to do is see if you just test this 
with McCabe cyclomatic complexity, especially just the signal action method, what kind of code coverage do we get in terms of the overall system using that approach? And then what we want to also do is look at full testing based upon the state systems. The tester or testers, depending on whether it's a group of two or three, will develop that, while the developer is developing their version of this code that is different. When that is done, the developer will then take those tests that have been created and use them to test their new version of the state machine, where the behavior should be identical to the behavior that ends up specified in this state chart here, and will be implemented in this class once the testers fix some of the bugs that are in there. There's only a few bugs put in here because most of this is really doing the analysis and developing the test cases, but there are a few bugs that exist inside of the provided code. So with that, that's going to bring this demonstration video to a conclusion.